Welcome to Tackle Fanatics TV. And in this episode of TFTV, Nash's Simon Crow lands a monster 83 pound carp on a scope. First video blog I've done for a while. And we're at Echo Pool again. This is a venue that I fished last year, towards the end of the year with Chris Felton. And I'm back here again because I liked it so much. I'm back for five days, just a short trip. And it's the end of October and I'm down here with my girlfriend, we've got the whole lake to ourselves just down here for a few days and it looks absolutely glorious, it really does, it's a fantastic place to come with your girlfriend fantastic place to come with just a few mates as well, it's a small water, only two or three acres in size but there's some really really big fish in here topped by a, a common known as Colin which is anywhere around about the 78 pound mark at the moment and there's also four or five fish around the 60 pound mark and uh, and above there's a couple of 70s in here as well so it really really is a fantastic water to fish there's just the one area that you can fish from which is uh, over there where the bivvy is and we've got the rods well spread out today's gone really well we've uh, we've had a couple of nice fish today including a common of just over 50 pounds and uh, Lucy's had her own little personal milestone, a personal best of 33 pounds, so, so far so good. Probably 67 the other day, we didn't manage to get it on film, but uh, I've just redone these rods. It was quite like last night when we lost the fish, and uh, started seeing one or two fish showing this morning, so I've redid all of them. Quite a few crays that are active, you see, so uh, we need to make sure that the, the hook baits are, are okay. And for the first time since we've been here, fish started showing just that side of the of the jetty. And it's probably been out probably half an hour, something like that. And uh, it's gone. It doesn't feel a particularly big fish, but a nice bit of early morning action. It don't always have to be big to give you a bit of fun. Nice bit of Sunday morning action. Nice little, little, little common, is it? That is, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, it could be a common. Nice big old hump on it. Bad for a Sunday morning. We've got to use the landing nets of uh, Echo that are provided, but uh, that's what we've just got. Slightly bigger than I thought, actually. You know, I thought it was going to be a little 20 pounder, but looking at that, it's going to be a little bit bigger than that. Big old humpy common, possibly close to, to 40, maybe even a little bit bigger than that. A lovely sight, though. It was out recently for the first time over 50, and uh, Pleased to say that this morning it's weighed just over 50 pounds as well for me, so uh, very happy because obviously I came to Echo Pool to try and get a 50 this year. I had a couple of the known 50s last year at sort of 46, 47 pounds, and uh, I'm only here for five days. And my target was a 50 pounder. I had the 67 the other day, and to get this one just over 50 years. really made a very pleasant trip. So let's let them go. Plenty of fight. It was a little bit tricky weighing these fish and uh, handling these fish in the water, but it can be done. But that's lovely, that is. Very happy. Got a couple of sets of three rods out. Um, this is the left hand set. And it's a typical case of small water carping, really, just spreading the rods around and trying different spots. But um, this morning I've had a, a 50 pound common from just to the left of the jetty there. Started seeing some real bad fizzes this morning, just on first light, and then a fish lobbed itself out of the water. Looked a good old chunk, and uh, a few minutes later it went, and it was the silver common on the end. And then we've got the middle rod. On the left, this has been the most productive uh, rod, which is just 
you can just see that pole there on the end of the jetty. Well, on the far bank, you can see that other pole that's like got a red marker on it. It's just in line with there. It's a little bit of a safe area if you draw two, draw a line between those two poles, and uh, it's just on the edge of that in, in about seven foot of water. And then the right hander, that one I've got on the far bank over there. I would, I've actually tried it on two or three different spots on the far bank, just where it starts to shelve up. And thus far, it's uh, the only rod out of these three on the left. Uh, that hasn't produced a fish. But saying that, we have the set of rods here on the right. The left hand rod out of these has not produced a fish because the uh, the middle water here, which is actually the most productive when we came here last year, had quite a lot of fish off that area, off that far bank. Um, that's really, it's probably between that lovely looking autumnal tree over there and that corner. I've not had a bite from anywhere between there at the moment. And then the other two rods, these are both fished mainly towards the willow. This is an area that did one or two fish last year for me and I think there's always fish around that willow, it overhangs quite a lot of the bank. If you go around that, that side and have a look down you can see how how much it protrudes out over the lake and it's a little bit of a safe area at the back there. There's a a lot of water that the fish um, that you can't get to, I should say, that the fish can hide away in, and uh, they obviously pass in there regularly. But the left hand side, I've had a 30 off it today, and then the, the right hand side, just in that little alcove there, that's the one that's done the, the 67. Now, as you can see, all these three rods, these are on the scopes. Um, first, real sort of session with the scopes they're absolutely fantastic for taking to France fit perfectly in the car the 13 footers on the left hand set to obviously take up a lot of room in the car but these scopes they pack down nicely and they'll certainly be coming out a few more times over the next few weeks when I go to France as I said earlier in the film they're the ones that I've had the 67 on which is a big fish to land a short rod according to a lot of people but it's actually quite easy to do. There's Luce just sat down admiring the, the swim and a little mate, Zeus. This is Andy and Tasha's oldest dog. Luce loves the old staffy, she's got a couple of staffies at home and Zeus is a resident staffy and he loves the loves the old scopic squid, don't you mate? Mm -hmm. Eh? You love the old scopic squid. But it's lovely in this swim at the moment because uh, it's just past midday and the trees above us there have been shading that sun from us and this autumnal sun is absolutely gorgeous it really is it's really nice and warm so you've had a look at the swim i'm going to sit down and enjoy the sun and uh, see if we can catch another fish mm. just sitting there having a bit of breakfast and uh, it's about now yesterday when I had a bit of action. I just actually said that it's about time we had a bit of action. Left hand rod off the willow trees just uh, just roared off. Fish really tightly round to the left. And then it's gone back round to the right. And it's gone back round to the left again. So whether that's a sign that it's a decent fish or if it's a, a little and going mad, I don't know. It does feel quite heavy but a lot of the fish in here do tend to fight the same. But hopefully we'll soon find out. On the scope rods. Lovely plain rods, these, for the little nine footers. Fish yet, but I don't 
the back then. Well, that's a big is it? Yeah. Hmm. Cool, isn't it? There's a few, there's a few fifty pound coins. Is Colin a common? Yeah. Work. <laughs> God, that'd be awesome. Don't you? Think it's in there. Don't you? Uh, you put No way. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, God. Oh, that's definitely. Oh, my God. <laughs> The big two. Oh, right, that's bigger. <laughs> oh, fuck. that's definitely it. That's one of them. Oh, that's <laughs> probably one of them. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. What's that reading on the scale, mate? Oh, zero, right? Zero, it yeah. and everything. It's way before the zero. Yeah, yeah, oh, zero, it and everything. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be. <laughs> Right, so whatever we see is what it weighs. That's zero. Right, okay. Zero to the sling. Scoop, scoop. Fat head out of the way. Get your head out of the way. There's a bit of water in there, so we've got a Yeah, yeah. it's on 85 at the moment. Oh. Bang. I mean, it's flapping. Flapping. Cool. 
Oh, bloody hell. It's, it's banging between the two. No. Oh, we're just touching the mat. I'll go up a bit. God, he's just shaking. Yeah. Might even be 83. 83. Yeah, it's 83. 83. Yeah. 83. This bloke's sitting here having a fag, <laughs> buzzing. Just as much as I am on catching this fish. Because not only is it a personal best for me, it's a massive late record for these two. And Andy and Tash have been here since the beginning. How big was he when you bought him? It's around 20 pounds. And how much did he cost you? He cost about 50 euros. 50 euros? <laughs> Back when it was 150 for the pound. And now that fish is priceless. Oh, 83 pounds. Absolutely buzzing. I can't believe it. <laughs> and there's another one in here that could be the same sort of size. So, uh, let's have a look at him on the bank anyway. Well, not on the bank, in the water, because you're not allowed to bring him on the bank. But either way, I ain't bothered, because that's awesome. <laughs> well, I've dreamt about catching this fish. This is a fish called Colin. It's the biggest fish in the lake that we know of. And uh, he's weighed in at 83 pounds. So I'm absolutely buzzing, I really am. Words can't describe it. It's a colossal fish. Immaculate in every single way. Look at that, 83 pounds. <laughs> that is one seriously awesome carp. And I'm very much one happy angler indeed. Let's put him back in, in the mat for a minute. Oh, God. All right, Luce? Yep. There we go. One last look at Colin. 83 pounds. Immense fish. <sighs> Just hold on to him a little bit. Look at that. There he is, mate. <laughs> Passing him over. <laughs> Passing him over to you. You can let him go. Cheers, mate. There you go, buddy. Good boy. Or girl, she wants Special say. car. Very proud moment. Oh, look at the size of it. Oh, baby. There he goes. Mega moment, mega memory. And he's totally alright as well. Super stuff, mate. Um, Cheers, mate. Thank you very much, mate. Very emotional moment, mate. Thank you ever so much to you, Tash, for making it a great week for me and Liz. Yeah, I just can't believe it. Mega. You've been tuned in to Tackle Fanatics TV and many thanks for watching. Tackle Fanatics stock a huge range of Nash products at the best prices around. To view our range, log on to www.tacklefanatic.co.uk. Member Tackle Fanatics also offer finance to make your tackle purchase more affordable. Tight lines and wet nets from everybody at TFTV.